Hi everyone, it's your digital technology librarian Christy here and once again I am here with you for a Film Rec Friday. So this Film Rec Friday we are going to recommend some rather light-hearted romances. Um, I'm a big romantic comedy fan, I've always been, and so it was a lot of fun to comb through our uh, three video service catalogs to find some things for you. Um, if you have a Mylan Berlin library card, you'll be able to access any of these recommendations totally for free. And those are going to come from one of our three services, which are Clevenet Overdrive, Hoopla Digital, or Canopy. So without any further ado, let's get started. So our first set of recommendations come from Clevenet's Overdrive. Um, the first movie rec is called Sliding Doors. And Sliding Doors is a rather unusual romantic comedy in that um, it focuses in on one moment, which, reference to the title, um, hinges upon whether or not our heroine uh, either misses or makes it through a set of sliding train doors. Um, and depending on that, her life will take one of two paths. Uh, the entire movie goes back and forth between these two paths that she's potentially living and as an audience member you have no idea which is the real path. So there's definitely that mystery going on throughout, uh, but both storylines are thoroughly entertaining. They're both comedic and dramatic at times um, and they each have, maybe lovable isn't the right word, but compelling heroes. Um, through one path, our heroine ends up focusing a lot of her life and energy on her boyfriend, who is this wannabe big time author, when in reality, he's just kind of, kind of a lazy guy who really does love her, but he hasn't got his life figured out for the most part. He does some questionable things and makes questionable choices. Uh, but you still kind of understand why she's with him. Um, her other road, uh, she chooses to leave the boyfriend and really focusing on herself and sort of fate brings her into contact with this other young man that she meets. Uh, and that's the main hero from that storyline. So again, the entire time we're sort of guessing which is the real situation and which isn't. And the story brings up the question of fate and soulmates so much. Uh, so it's one of those kinds of romantic comedies that's maybe a little bit deeper simply because it makes you ask a lot of questions while you're watching. Um, I really enjoy it. The cast is really wonderful. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow heads uh, the cast. And then one uh, gentleman is played by John Lynch and the other is John Hanna. Uh, and again, they're both entertaining guys. So it's one of those stories that it's it's a fun watch and definitely recommended if you're looking for a romantic comedy that's a little bit uh, unusual or off the beaten path. Um, my other recommendation for uh, Overdrive is perfect for fans of Hallmark movies, of which I am as well. Um, it's called The Chateau Moreau, and it follows that very typical uh, Hallmark movie formula. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a formula that works and that clearly entertains people, but you definitely kind of know that you're going to get a happy ending from the beginning. That's not a spoiler. That's just the type of movie this is. Uh, it has kind of an exotic setting uh, in that it all takes place, you know, within uh, wine country and vineyards, which is automatically kind of a strangely romantic setting to begin with. Um, you have a hero and a heroine who are at odds because of their businesses. And, you know, there's some treachery and betrayal, but it, it all works out in the end. And it's headed by such a likable cast, uh, Barry Watson, um, Marla Stokloff. And then uh, Christopher Lloyd plays in a role as well. And who doesn't love Christopher Lloyd? Um, he's, of course, Doc Brown from the Back to the Future movies. Uh, but it really is. It's quite funny and it's sweet. And it's one of those you don't have to think deep thoughts while you're watching, but it's so thoroughly enjoyable for that hour and a half that it's on. Um, 
definitely recommended the Chateau Moreau. Please check it out, especially if you're a Hallmark movie fan. Um, I think you'll really like it. So my second set of recommendations all come from Hoopla. And the first one of those is Made in Manhattan. Now, Made in Manhattan is a lovely little romantic comedy that stars Ray Fiennes and Jennifer Lopez. And it has really um, strong upstairs, downstairs, screwball comedy themes throughout. Uh, it definitely, the storyline has a very strong Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn kind of feel to it. Um, you've got a well-to-do meal uh, character who is staying at this very fancy upscale hotel, and you've got a working class girl. She's a maid in that particular hotel. She ends up, uh, through a series of circumstances, pretending to be a guest at the hotel instead, so there's some mistaken identity elements going on, and the two of them meet and eventually fall in love. Now, there's a lot going on and a lot to unpack about the film. Um, elements of class, of social status, uh, elements of haves versus have-nots. Uh, they're definitely characters that are like stereotypically um, uber wealthy in there. And along with like a cast of characters who are definitely stereotypically working class, there's again, a lot of themes at play. But they weave these things together in a way that it's still really, really entertaining. So you can have conversations about that, but still end up watching a really fun romantic comedy. The chemistry is still great between them. Um, and they're just really fun films to watch like this. So definitely recommend Made in Manhattan if you love screwball comedies. It's one of my faves, actually. So... I hope uh, you'll give it a shot. Uh, my second recommendation from Hoopla is a film called Shop Girl. Uh, Shop Girl is based on a novella by Steve Martin, the comedian, um, who also is one of the stars of the movie. It also stars uh, Jason Schwartzman, and your main character is played by, played by Claire Danes, who does a marvelous job. Um, Shop Girl is 100% a romance. But it's also very much a coming-of-age story for the, the, the main female character. Uh, she starts out the film as a lonely young artist who is making ends meet by working at the um, glove counter at a really upscale department store. Uh, she ends up being courted by two men, one of whom is a wealthy customer at that department store, and the other who is... Um, around her age, equally emotionally immature, and who also needs to learn as much about himself as she needs to learn about herself. Um, the film follows her relationships with these two men, and it really does make you ask the question, who, not who is she meant to be with, but who is she a better partner for who is a better partner for her really um and throughout the movie it's a different answer at different times uh it really is one of those stories that challenges you when you're watching it um and the acting is really excellent it's neither character that she's like vying between is entirely great at any given point they're very real characters very flawed uh but likable at the same time. So definitely check out Shop Girl if you're looking for something a little more dramatic um, with some elements of humor in it as well. But yes, definitely check out Shop Girl. Um, and my last recommendation for Hoopla is Movie Blow Dry. Uh, it is utterly ridiculous, frivolous, fluffy, um, but I love it. It is so much fun. It follows a small, very quiet town that is suddenly inundated with characters when they decide to host a big fancy hairstyling competition um, there. And you have all of these very exuberant characters coming into town and just how it's affecting all of the different townspeople. Um, it is definitely 
it definitely has romantic elements. You've got sort of a star-crossed lovers thing going on with the two youngest main characters, which are who are played by Josh Hartnett uh, and Rachel Lake Cook. But the meat of the film really focuses on the relationship between the absolute main character who's played by Alan Rickman. He is a one-time much lauded stylist who eventually turns into just this very quiet um, village barber uh, and his relationship with his ex-wife as well as the woman she ends up leaving him for who also happened to be one of his hair models and one of his collaborators. So you've got a lot of tension going on between those three characters, but they all have this history and they all have this love for each other. Um, but it's done in a playful enough way that it never feels heavy at all. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's funny and just sort of lighthearted, but with some seriously heartfelt moments, definitely check out Blow Dry. It sounds really strange, uh, but it's a lot of fun. And then they do these amazing, amazing um, styles throughout the movie that are also really fun to watch as they're putting them together. So definitely recommended. Check out Blow Dry if you're looking for something like that. My last recommendations for this week come from Canopy, of course. And the first one is called My Sassy Girl. My Sassy Girl is a Korean language film, so you will have subtitles. But it is such a good movie. I strongly, strongly recommend it. It's a sort of slapstick romantic comedy which follows a much put -em upon young man as uh, life and circumstances continue to push him together with this one girl who, when we first meet her, seems an utter total mess. Um, she's ridiculous and she is such a trial to him. She ends up making him have to drag her while she's totally drunk um, to back to her home so that he makes sure that she gets there safely. Uh, but all of her rather outrageous behavior is really hiding its own set of traumas that she's trying to work through. And the more time he spends with her, the more he really gets to know her and really, really care for her. And the more she cares for him as well. Uh, the chemistry between these two performers is really, really wonderful. Again, for something that has such a slapstick kind of humor tone to it, which it does at the beginning, you really get a lot of heart out of the movie. Uh, so much so that like by the end, you definitely, it's, it's, it's really, really romantic. So I 100% recommend My Sassy Girl. It's really sweet. It's really charming. And... Um, it, I think it really stays with you while you're watch after you finish watching. So my sassy girl definitely recommended. And my very final recommendation is from the movie, take me home. Uh, take me home is essentially a road trip movie, but the arc of the two people who are on this road trip, uh, their relationship is, is really interesting. Um, you definitely get a little bit of when Harry met Sally vibes, uh, at the get-go, but it quickly morphs into something much deeper. Um, it starts with them being essentially total strangers. They're both coming from different lives. They've never really met before, but they have totally different problems that they're dealing with. They end up deciding to go on this road trip uh, to California, and through the course of this journey, they really have they, their lives come to a head, essentially. You know, they start as strangers, they slowly become friends, and then they end up totally in love by the end. So I, I really love movies that not only have like emotional journeys, but physical journeys too. So you have that sort of metaphor for what's happening between the characters. The writing's really good. The dialogue's amazing. Uh, so if you're looking for a really well-written a journey kind of film that does have a romance at its heart. Can't say enough good things about Take Me Home. Please do check it out. Um, as always, if you have any recommendations for films that you are watching, please do let us know. Make a comment down below. Um, also, you know, if you have recommendations for things that you'd like 
to see us talk about in the future. Um, I know I have a set of foodie recommendation, recommendation films coming up down the road. So please let us know about those as well. Um, and with that, thank you so much for listening and watching and hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a good weekend. Bye.